The more massive bullish news for AMC theaters. This is from the Hollywood handle. It says they did it. The Super Mario Bros. movie crossed 1 billion at the worldwide box office. It's the 11th animated movie to reach that mark and the first one since 2019 with Frozen 2. Now what's funny is that before this movie ever even came out, there was a ton of the mainstream media that was covering that this movie was going to be a flop and that this movie was going to be a massive disappointment for the theaters. But what happened? The exact opposite. This post says AMC will change this. Former Citadel engineer on trading. And they said, the game is not fair or has never been. Individual investors, even when operating in a swarm, are destined to lose. And how do I know I helped design the game? AMC launched two new high margin revenue streams. One with Walmart, the number one retail in the world. And the other with Visa, the number one credit card company in the world. Doing business with the big boys, so yeah, apes are winning. Now the numbers are going to come out very soon with everything because the next earnings report is around the corner. And I cannot wait because this earnings, there's a lot of things going on. There's going to be a lot for CEO Adam and the team to cover. But number one, I cannot wait to hear about the numbers with the popcorn because the popcorn is such a high margin revenue stream. I cannot wait apes, comment down below what you think. Enforcing broker accountability. So all the brokers are showing horrendously wrong market caps lately. Can we all start sending them messages asking about it and share those screen captures of the chats? Squeaky wheels get the grease and I would love to hear their reasoning for the glitches and issues. If enough brokers are getting messages, it adds to our mantra that we are aware of their BS. After getting caught in a lie, questions become daunting. Let's ask them lots of questions about the glitches and screen cap and share. We need answers now. The glitches are starting to now come back out of the cracks. The glitches were bad a year ago, and they've sort of went away for a while, but they're back and they're back in full force. Having to destroy the short thesis to squeeze was always BS. Within the last three months, second largest banking collapse in US history, banking sector close to collapsing, $32 billion crypto collapse, two trillion wiped out from the stock crypto market in a few days, AMC short interest at the highest levels, AMC on threshold list, AMC FTDs completely out of control, cost to borrow well over 100%. AMC CEO even speaks out about the FTD and threshold situation. But the idea that we needed to destroy the short thesis first was always nonsense. The fact that our economic system seems to be actively imploding on us is proof itself.